from the word go, you know it's a love story. You know it's a love story. And Odd Man Out's a love story as well. He's just trying to get back to this woman that he's in Odd Man Out. And they're both, they're both very similar. It'd be interesting to know if Jonathan Glazer ever watched Odd Man Out. I don't think... They're so stylistically so different. That's about a man who is, who is trapped and, and, and basically fighting, he's fighting for his life. And this is a, a similar movie in a sense, but it was made 60 years later. I don't think Jonathan Glazer, the director of this movie, had Odd Man Out in his head at all when he was making this movie. But there is a similarity in the characters uh, in this, and in the stories. They're both stories about men who are, um, who are basically fighting for their lives, different circumstances. Masterpiece is all the same. Now, Odd Man Out, I think, is a masterpiece of 40s British cinema, for sure. There's no doubt about it. Now, this is an absolute masterpiece of British crime cinema, full stop. I don't think there's been a better British crime movie ever made, and I'm not so sure there ever will be. He's used really interesting imagery and really interesting editing to, to portray a different method of of storytelling and it's some of it's just bananas it's bonkers the ideas is conceptual the ideas in this film are just way out there but i always feel connected with him i always feel connected with 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 this character with the ray winston character i always know exactly what's motivating him he's a man he's stuck he's lost he can't get out of it and and the cinematography's great the design's great the direction's stunning the writing is beautiful um, you know, and you always, from the word go, you know it's a love story. You know it's a love story. And Odd Man Out's a love story as well. He's just trying to get back to this woman that he's in Odd Man Out. And they're both, they're both very similar. It'd be interesting to know if Jonathan Glazer ever watched Odd Man Out. I don't think, they're so stylistically so different, then why, then why would he, you know? But I guess my only connection is that they're two great British crime films with quite amazing characters in. I've worked with Ray Winston and, and, and I think he's a very, very good actor. But all the kind of slightly weird abstract imagery all the way through, it's not just thrown in, it's not just, it's not just a byproduct of somebody's weird imagination. Everything means something. And even the ones that you don't quite get, you want to try and understand. I don't have to have everything explained. And then you get this performance from Ben Kingsley, which is like, where did that come from? the hell did that come from? It's just like, you can't take your eyes off the guy. You cannot take your eyes off the guy. He's the devil. He's the devil. It's the one person that's stopping Ray Winston's character from having the life he wants. And the editing is just sublime. Some of the editing, some of the simple... You've just got to watch this movie. I mean, if this movie came out now, it'd be, it, it, this would be winning all the Oscars. Composition is very simple. I mean, this is a... this this. Even on, on film, that is not an easy thing to get right. People think, oh, that's just a guy sitting there as a background. He's, to get to keep detail in the background, and then you could you could do that. You'd have to light him. You'd have to throw so much light at Ben Kingsley, and then. But he hasn't. He's kept it dark. He kept him. You know, Ivan would probably go. I just did it like this, or whatever. But it's clever. It's smart because. This background, he didn't want to blow it out. He wants to keep the detail in the, in the, in the landscape, OK? Because the landscape is a big part of this part of the movie. But he didn't want to overlight him, so he's got him... I think this is... People might think it's very simple, but Ivan's nailed it. He's just absolutely nailed it. He's quite dark. He's a dark character. But that's the, I think that's, that was the way to do this. Because some of the other stuff, actually, as Cameron will tell you, it's quite easy sometimes. But getting stuff like that right is can be tricky because you get that wrong on the neg. You shot this on film. But you get that wrong on the neg. There's not much you can do with it in the grade, really. OK, the sky's blown out, but that's Spain. That's what happens to skies in Spain. You know? So I, when I saw this, I knew it's craftsmanship. Very, very good craftsmanship. What it is, what this film is to me, is I, I don't know either of them really, but it's Jonathan Glazer and Ivan Bird at the top of their game, you know, and they were, and this is what's interesting, they both came from commercials. I could watch this film over and over and over again, and that's, that's what makes a great movie, I think. It's something that you're just really happy to return to, and it's like a 
thrill. And you've thrown something in there which is totally original. Which is not easy in a genre piece like this. Did you get a chance to see Under the Skin? I, I, I did, yes, absolutely. I saw that in the cinema, actually, yeah. Mm. I did see that in the cinema. That's fascinating, that film. And that's obviously, you can see where he's moving on and stuff. But, oh, no, I just love this, but I just love this. So what is this? What does this tell you about the character? To me, it tells me everything about the character that I need to know. And then, then it cuts to him there. Perfect suit, perfect. Sitting in this... He's a manipulative. It tells me everything I need to know. And, and, he's, and, and the Jonathan Glazer and Ivan Bird have done that in two shots. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So those why that's, that's... I connect those two movies in British cinema put them two to, those two together because they are masterpieces you know. I'm still waiting for a, a film as good as this Malcolm Venville nearly did it with 44 inch chest it was a pretty good film but a very similar thing so but Glazer was the first this is you know, a guy needs give him all the credit for this movie